Welcome to another episode of Crafty Grandma. In this video, we will make a fabric overnight bag. This bag has a lot of space. As you can see, you can put all your things in here if you plan to go overnight elsewhere outside your home or if you plan to go swimming with friends or even if a baby is on board or even just for shopping, this bag is very handy. So guys, if you are ready, let's do this. For this project, we need a printed fabric for the bag and a plain fabric for the lining. We need an underliner for the bag. You have a choice of a lightweight leatherette. This one you can buy from upholstery shops. Or you can choose the thick one, which is twice or three times as thick as the lightweight leatherette but uh, the end result is a lot better. That will also depend on your machine. If you are using a domestic lightweight machine, then you have to settle with the thin lightweight leatherette. We need two pieces of 24 inch band roll for the handle. We need a 10 inch yellow zipper for the lining and a 24 inch zipper for the bag. Let us cut our fabric liner 18 inches crosswise and 28 inches lengthwise. Okay, again, 18 inches crosswise, 28 inches lengthwise. When cutting the bag fabric, put a 1 inch allowance all around. Fold these two material together and base the fabric to the liner. How to make the handle? Atahiin po yung band roll sa isang tabi and then we roll and so to pull all the way down we will sew all the way down and sew the other side Locate the center and measure 5 inches. This is the distance of the handle on one side. Do the same to the other side. Attach the handles temporarily by basting. From the printed material, cut two pieces of 14 by 3. This is for the zipper. Close the sides of the cut fabric. Enclose a band roll. This is how you attach the zipper. Put a dent on the center. Attach the zipper temporarily to the bag by running a stitch back and forth so that it will be easy to make corrections if there are errors along the way. After attaching the zipper, you can now sew the sides, the left and the right side. So your bottom side about four to four and a half inches. You have two sides. Be sure that your seam stays at the center in order to get even results. After sewing our bottom sides, 
I cut the excess material. One from the left and another one from the right. Now we will turn the bag inside out and see what we got. We will check the progress of our work. So, babalik ta rin po natin yung bag. This is the bag without the lining. Divide the lining in two. Attach the pocket to one of the parts. Attach the lining to the bag. Sew around the bag with 2 cm allowance from the top. Make a second sewing about 2 cm from the top. This will keep the lining and the zipper in place. Before closing the lining, we will enclose a board or a hard plastic at the base of the bag. This will keep the base of the bag always flat and for heavier weights. Fold the lining and sew here. Sew the two sides. The last thing we do is to attach the slider of the zipper and then put a stopper and we're done. Our finished product, a fabric overnight bag. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share, comment and subscribe, and please follow my other tutorials. Our word for this week comes from Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. It says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be afraid of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Guys, let us keep our faith alive, especially during this time when life is not easy. Keep smiling! Please continue to watch my videos and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!